Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family. I've been having some issues with the onboard charger with my Zero electric motorcycle. In this video, I'm gonna show you the problems that I've noticed with the charger and what I ended up having to do in order to fix that charging problem. Unfortunately, it involved a trip to the dealer. Let's jump into that. Well, I have had a charging issue with my Zero lately where I was plugging the cord in, and this is before I pushed the latest firmware update. The bike would only charge for about, I don't know, one minute or two, and then it would shut off. Let's see if that's been fixed with the firmware update. I'm going to plug the bike in, and uh, we'll give it a go. Okay, we are charging. That's good. We are charging, you can see the green light here, 67%. Let's go over here to the battery screen. And this is great. Shows that we have a two hours and 44 minutes till full charge. We're at 67% state of charge. Charging at five amps, 530 watts. And cell balance of eight millivolts. The bike's been sitting for a good month or so. Just haven't had an opportunity to ride, so that cell balance, hopefully we can get that back in check. And we'll continue to charge the bike and see if it stays on here for more than one minute like we had before. We can power off the bike and we'll still be able to monitor charging. We're still connected via Bluetooth, so that's very cool. Save some of the heat from the halogen headlight bulbs. And hopefully we can charge here for a while. All right, we've seen the state of charge here now come up to 68%. Typically, you can just plug the bike in and walk away, but as I mentioned before, I did have that issue. I'd plug the bike in, it, the charger would turn on, it would charge for about a minute or two, and then it would shut off. I'm not sure if it was getting hot or, or what, but I pushed this new firmware update, and hopefully that fixed it. That was the firmware update for main bike board version 31 and battery management system version 38. Oh, okay. Here we go. The charger just shut off. We were plugged in for what? Two minutes and now we're not charging anymore. So that didn't fix it. I'm not sure what the problem is. We'll probably have to take it into zero and get that figured out. Hey everyone, I just dropped off my Zero FXS to the Zero dealer. You can see the FXS is right here waiting in line. Uh, hopefully we'll get, get a chance to get to it next week and let me know what's going on with the charging. 19 days after dropping off the bike, I decided to email the dealer and I received this response. Hi Sean, we have begun to diagnose the problem, but I am sorry we do not have an update for you at this time. Unfortunately, we will need some technical assistance from Zero, and they have been closed since last week. They will reopen on January 4th and we will then get the problem confirmed, which we believe is the charger. But because it intermittently works, we need to confirm there is not an underlying issue. They will contact me with an update as soon as they have further information. Then on January 6th, I received another reply from the dealer saying the charger is confirmed faulty and they believe that it's the only issue. The charger cost by itself is $750 plus tax and the labor to replace the charger is $60. They already had the charger on order and they just wanted me to confirm the replacement of the charger. In an email reply back, I asked a couple questions about the onboard charger versus the Delta Q and the response here says they have Delta Q external chargers in stock for $600. The onboard charger is certainly convenient and your choice on which one you would like to use. The new onboard chargers are updated from when yours was made. The resale value of my bike would definitely be less if the onboard charger was not working. The dealer would allow me to keep the old faulty charger and they did not know why it failed. The dealer also passed along that parts are warranted for 30 days, but this actually turned out to be incorrect. I decided to email Zero and double check the parts warranty. They said, hello, to answer your earlier question, they're constantly reviewing and improving the product. So if I were to purchase a new charger, I would receive the latest iteration. And if I did purchase the new charger, it would have the parts only limited one year warranty. So my decision was to either choose the new 720 watt onboard charger or the new 1000 watt Delta Q offboard charger. 
the onboard charger was $810 plus tax, and the Delta Q is $600 plus tax, a little bit cheaper. But with the new onboard charger, my bike's resale value would remain higher, and I would only have to carry the charge cord. With the Delta Q, I'd have to carry that in a top box. I decided to opt for the onboard charger for the better resale value of my bike and the convenience of only having to carry around the charging cable. I approved that on January 7th. The dealer called me on January 16th reporting that the repair was complete and then I went and picked up the bike on January 19th. All in all, 40 days total drop off to pick up. Hey guys, I'm back here at the Zero dealer and I'm just picking up my bike now. It's been about six weeks and we have a new charger installed. I'm going to take it for a quick spin here and then when we get back to my garage, I'm going to show you the details on the new charger and how much it costs to get that repaired. Let's go for a ride. that thing. I love it. Yeah, it's just so I, fast. And I noticed I couldn't hear you. I've been watching videos on them on YouTube all day. I said, holy shit, there's a zero right there. Yeah, you gotta take, take a test ride. They're awesome. Yeah, it's, how uh, much did that thing run you though? Uh, 10 grand. <laughs> Alright guys, I've got the Zero FXS back from the dealer. The dealer gave it to me with a full charge. I wanted to run the battery down a little bit. Took it for a little ride. Yes, I rode electric today. Now we're going to push the bike inside, we're going to plug it in and test out the new charger. We'll also talk about what it cost to get the onboard charger replaced. Alright guys, I got the bike in the garage. We've got it powered on. There was 50% state of charge here showing up on the dash and 50% state of charge showing up on the paired Zero Motorcycles app. The battery voltage right now is 102 volts and the cell balance is between nine and 10 millivolts. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the bike in and we'll test out the new charger. You should always plug into the bike first before plugging into an outlet. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, we're plugged in. And I'm going to plug into my brand new installed 20 amp outlet. More than what we need, but I uh, always like to have more than what I need just to make sure that the power is there. All right, we are now plugged in here. You can see we are charging by the flashing green light. And I have the app connected here. It says time to full charge, four hours and 57 minutes to bring it back up to 100%. And we are charging at five amps, 515 watts. It actually jumps between four amps and five amps, 412 and 515 watts. That's because I have the bike powered on. I'll go ahead and power off the bike and we'll see that jump up. Now we're charging between five and six amps which is an equivalent wattage of 515 watts to 618 watts. Not sure why we can't get the full 720 watts. I think that's because that's DC and we're getting some sort of loss here between the AC coming in and the conversion to DC. Um, that's probably why on Zero's website that they advertise that the uh, full charging wattage for these bikes is only around 650 watts. They must be figuring in a little bit of a, a loss there. But definitely a good question on why it jumps around between five and six charging amps and 515 and 618 charging watts. 
I actually reached out to Zero to inquire why I wasn't seeing 720 watts charging and why I was seeing the fluctuations between the 500 and 600 watts on my Zero app. It took Zero about a week to get back to me, but here is the response. Hey Sean, you are correct with regards to the slight loss of power due to the AC to DC conversion. The app shows DC values after the power has been converted while the power ratings are in AC. The current passing through the charger will often fluctuate based on temperature, so the charger may not be able to perfectly hold the maximum wattage throughout the charge. We have looked at your charger fluctuations and the charger is working as expected. Glad to have the bike back together. We'll get it charged up to around 60%, which is the recommended state of charge for storing the bike from zero. Not planning on riding it. It is the middle of January and still rather cold. I prefer the temperature to be above 50 degrees when I ride. Yeah, you probably think I'm weak, but uh, that's. Yeah, I'd rather just have a more pleasant ride than, than be bundled up and, and freezing. Let's take a look at the total cost. So here is the invoice from the zero dealer. You can see that the job title was replace the onboard charger for my model FXS ZF 6.5. The item number with the new charger is 45-08252. And the description is an onboard charger 720 watts. The total price for that charger was $750, which I think is pretty steep, but hopefully we don't have to put another onboard charger in ever again on this bike. The shop materials was $3, labor $60, uh, normal labor rate for this dealer is $100 per hour, so I only had to pay for 0.6 of an hour to get the charger installed, total $63, job total $813, and then of course we have to pay some tax, $45 in tax. So the grand total for replacing the onboard charger was a hefty $858. Well, glad to have the bike back again with a capable charger. Thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you liked the video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, we definitely appreciate the subscriptions. Leave a comment if you've had to replace your onboard charger or if, you know any kind of significant maintenance that you have needed with your Zero motorcycle. Or if you don't own a Zero yet and you have questions, definitely throw your question here in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to Tesla Family Channel here on YouTube. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you soon. Check out all of our other videos as well. Also, follow us on Twitter at Tesla Family Chan. Use my referral code to buy a new Tesla and you will get 1,000 free supercharging miles. Or if you use my referral code to buy a Tesla solar roof or solar panels, you'll get a $100 reward after system activation. Thank you.